No. It'll foam up. All right. I prefer helping you so you can Oh yeah, help. please. <laughs> I think that's the best. Um, do you like dark? No. Or oh, hi, this is Karen Che, and I recently visited the Star Alliance lounges at JFK. Let's find out the best lounges at New York JFK. JFK is an interesting airport with five terminals. Terminals are hard to travel in between after security. For Star Alliance members, there are two lounges in Terminal 1, Lufthansa Lounge and Turkish Airlines Lounge. And in Terminal 4, there's the Air India Lounge. And additionally, there are many more lounges accessible with priority pass. Let's start with the Lufthansa Lounge. Located right next to the security area, it is one of the largest lounges at the airport. As you enter, there is a spacious check-in lounge where staff members assist you with the check-in process. Upstairs, you will find the center lounge, exclusively for the first class and Star Alliance Gold members, but it closes at 8. The downstairs area is the business lounge, which is quite spacious. Upon entering, you will come across the TV room, followed by the buffet and the sitting area. Let's talk about the beverage options. They have two coffee machines, a variety of teas, soda machine, the salad bars, and beer taps. The salad bar offers a selection of dishes including chopped Thai salad, mozzarella tomato salad, green salad, olives, cucumbers, and various dressings. The hot meal bar features stir-fried beef with peppers and onions, rice, cauliflower and broccoli, potatoes and mushrooms, and zucchinis with cherry tomatoes. In addition, they offer bread, apples, ch chocolate brownies, mixed pound cakes, cheese, and a delightful chicken noodle soup. On the other side of the lounge, there is a snack bar with small chips, sweets, and of course, alcohol. It's enjoyable. Overall, the seating area is spacious with comfortable recliners. And the staff members are incredibly friendly. I really mean it. I absolutely love my experience here. Moving on to the Turkish Airlines Lounge, it's located between gates 2 and 3 and has a glamorous entrance adorned with golden decorations. The check-in area is quite nice too. Although the size is almost half of the Lufthansa Lounge, it is still spacious enough. Let's explore the food options. They offer hot tea served in Turkish tea glasses, coffee machines, drip coffee, baklavas, and salty cookies. Below that, you'll find a fully stocked drink refrigerator. In the food section, I noticed some various vegetables including olive salad and eggplant salad. They also serve lentil soup, chicken with vegetables, rice, and mixed vegetables. All the food options are halal and there are plenty of vegetarian choices available. Additionally, they offer a selection of wines and champagnes. The sitting area is large and they have a separate business room equipped with a printer. Overall, both lounges are great with plenty of seating options. The food is good in both lounges too, although not extremely diverse with each lounge offering its own main dish. Lufthansa provides a variety of general lounge foods while Turkish Airlines focuses more on Turkish flavored dishes. If you're a vegetarian, halal eater, or simply craving some Turkish cuisine, you would appreciate Turkish Airlines more. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Ciao.